Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is Game with 5 I'm bringing you to another Inform player review. This time we're going to have the Inform Musa Sissoko. The right midfielder, or Inform is a right midfielder for Newcastle. He's from France, he plays for Newcastle, usually a centre mid or central attacking mid. But this time the Inform is in the right mid position. He cost me 18,000 coins. He's a 2 star skill move and a 2 star weak foot set. He's 6 foot 2, and this is the team that I played him in. Average Barclays Premier League squad. Not really amazing, but yeah, just an average team so what can I say about him well you have a few pros to do with him the first one is his acceleration which is absolutely phenomenal he is a great player and he can absolutely bomb down the wing and cross it into your other players on the pitch other things to do with him he is about 15 16 thousand coins a discard player value looking at his in-game stats he has 97 shot power 81 stand tackle 83 free kick accuracy, a high attacking work rate and medium defence work rate, not the best work rates in the world, but yeah, these are what you're paying for, 84 acceleration, 88 strength, 83 stamina, 81 sprint speed, 83 reactions, he also has 80 aggression and 80 inceptions, if you combine this all together you're going to get a player who absolutely dominates others, puts in decent crosses from time to time, as you can see, he crosses the ball in from a corner, gets a good curve on it and Fellaini puts it into the back of the net. Now the board is going to go away because it took me about two hours just to edit this video just down to the fact that black lines carried on appearing at the bottom of the screen and it really just didn't make the video look nice so I'm going to get rid of the border and now we're just going to go into some in-game clips. So as I was saying he does have nice acceleration his strength is really overpowering or really overpowered compared to some players and he is overall a really decent card. As you see there, he has absolutely amazing long shot and just puts it into back of net. Weak foot, not really a problem. I'd just say don't really use his uh, left foot too much. Take a long shot with it from time to time or just take a shot inside the box. You'll probably put it away. But just mainly take long shots. And what else can I say about him? Um, his pace is pretty decent actually. 81 pace on the card. Not really a problem with that. Really decent card overall. Um, all his stats are above 70, so as I said, he's just a great card to be using. As you can see, he'll just put the ball in the back of the net time and time again. Let's get on to some cons. Obviously, being in the right mid position, it's not going to help anyone. It's not a great place to be for him. For him, I did find that it was average, but I'd rather have him in a camel striker position just because I did play him in those positions during the games which I played, and he was unreal, phenomenal, just a great card. And another thing is his skill moves. You don't really use the skill moves when it comes to Soko because he's just literally pace and strength and he can just bomb through players. But I would like to have three star skill moves on this card. It would come in a bit more handy when you want to just do something like a roulette or something like that. It would just be a bit more helpful. So overall I'd give him a 9.5 out of 10. I'd definitely recommend for you guys to go out there and purchase him as he is an absolutely unreal card. Check in the description for Coins FIFA. Use code GAMEGUY to get yourself 5% off. Recommend buying him 15, 16, 17k, not really expensive. That's it, guys. If we get it 30 likes, that'd be absolutely great. And I, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Peace. Seasons change,